Hello, big boy. It's Baba. Now then, it's a little bit darker today because the lights aren't really working properly. But I hope you can still see me properly in here. This is the story about those darn squirrels by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. On the outskirts of town, at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house. The only thing older than the little house was the man who lived in it, Old Man Footwire. Old Man Footwire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was also a grump. He hated pie. He hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, Old Man painted pictures of the birds that visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds, baba birds and yabba birds. Even a rare flugel bird came by once or twice. Footwire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change colour, the old man grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter where it's a little bit warmer, as they did every year, and that he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So Old Man Fuguire built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around his backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries and soon birds came from all over. They came from all over the forest just to eat in the Old Man's yard. But the birds weren't the only ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. Not many people know this, but squirrels are the cleverest of all the woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make a house out of a tree, a bed out of a bunch of leaves and a box kite out of twigs, dirt and squirrel spit. They are also excellent at maths. Winter was fast approaching and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could to get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. The birds were not happy. Neither was Old Man Footwire. When he discovered what had happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, Those darn squirrels! He filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung them from the clothesline. When he went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get the seeds and berries. But the squirrels were determined. They devised a plan, and this time they took all the food from the bird feeders. <gasps> oh no! The birds were furious. Horumph! Horumph! said the birds. Horumph! yelled a bonga bird. Those darn squirrels! yelled old man Fuquire. Yum! Yum, yum, said the squirrels. Now, it was Old Man Footwires to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps, and he bought wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a veritable fortress around his bird feeders. <sighs> then he refilled them very carefully. Na 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 na, snorted the flugel bird. 
The squirrels stayed up all night, working out their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar crisps to help them stay awake. Finally, they had it. The perfect plan. They put on their tiny helmets and prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers and onto the bird feeders. If you look carefully, you can see the way that they're going to be doing it, the cheeky little squirrels. First, the first squirrel. The first squirrel misfired and hit a tree. The second squirrel went too high and landed in a bucket. The squ third squirrel sailed clear over the house. The birds laughed and laughed. They each had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from old man's feeders. Then they flew south for the winter, just as they did every, every year. The butts, said the flugel bird. After the birds left, old man Footwire was lonely, just as he was every year. He fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, his favourite snack. But he was still lonely. When he looked out the window, the squirrels could tell that he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like you squirrels. The squirrels held a meeting deep inside a large tree. They decided to give the old man a present to make up for all the seeds and berries. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are not only fuzzy little geniuses. They also collect just about anything they find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. But what would footwire like? Bottle caps? Popsicle sticks? Postage stamps? Finally, they had it. The perfect gift. The squirrels stacked all of their loose change on all man pulled it. There were dimes and pennies, there were nickels and quarters, there were even a few tokens. There were even a few tokens from Coco's Arcade. It all added up to forty-seven dollars and thirty-six cents, plus a few rounds of ski ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't so bad, Footwire said when he found the coins. But I still like birds better. This gave the squirrels another idea. They raided their junk collection again to get to work. When old man Footwire woke up the next morning, he was amazed to see the birds had returned. But wait, those things aren't birds. They were squirrels in disguise. Great googly moogly, said the old man Footwire. This will make quite a painting. He ran outside and took down the lasers and the wires and the spring-loaded trapeze. He turned the bird feeders onto squirrel feeders and then he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. The squirrels were so overjoyed they had a party in Old Man Footwire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Footwire, and he shook his old man fist and smiled. What a lovely story. Right then, big boy, night night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You know why? Because I love you very much. Night night. <laughs>